Oh, there's one. I got a little fish on the square bill. Get him up here. It's a nice largemouth on the square bill. He choked it too. Nice fish to start the day on. Out here on the windy point. Whoa. It's another fish. Not as nice as the last one, but you know what? Oh, maybe I won't take him. All of us right to. There's another good one there. Oh, he's diving on me. Oh, that's a pretty nice little spot. Nice little spot here on the little shaky head. Too bad. Chunky for sure. Another spot. Going back. Right there in front of the boat. Nah, I got him. <laughs> I saw that, that front treble hook get into him there and I was like, okay, yeah, he's good now. Right, there you go. First little large mouth of the day on the rock crawler. Oh, there's one. Little one on the rock crawler. Oh, a little bit deeper this time. There he is. Yeah, that's the best one of the day so far. Thank you. Welcome to Bass Plugs. I got a chance to go out to Table Rock, do a little bit of pre-spawn fishing. Now, I started out in the morning throwing a rock crawler, a sprawl rock crawler, in this color right here, the Phantom Watermelon. Threw a little gravel banks, uh, picked up a couple like that, a little bit shallower, caught a few on a uh, Mega Bass flat size square bill in a Tennessee shad color. Um, wasn't really working the way I was expecting it to, the way it had for us before, uh, so changed gears a little bit. I have to lake a little ways. Uh, found some bluff lines that I've caught fish on before. And knowing this time of year, the water temperature being around 55 degrees, water's pretty clear. Uh, those fish are gonna move up on those bluff lines to move towards the spawning pockets. So I went uh, after those fish there using a shaky head and with a watermelon purple zoom trick worm. Uh, really great worm this time of year. Really great worm anytime that the water's clear and it's sunny. Uh, but they were really loving it. Just going up and down those bluff lines. Make sure to hit the points. Work back from the points on the bluff lines. Boat was sitting in about 35, 40 feet of water. Uh, so they weren't really deep bluff lines, but you know, they had a decent amount of water under them. Just hopping the worm along and they were they were loving it. Uh, it's a beautiful time to be out on the water right now, so I recommend going out there. If you got those kind of conditions, try throwing that worm on shaky head. You can pick up a lot of fish really quickly. It's a ton of fun. So you guys go out there and I hope you enjoy the video. And thank you for the recent support on the last video. Uh, Right now, as I'm recording, we're almost at 10, 10K, so that's awesome. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good luck out there. Man, I hooked that one. Yep. Just a little shaky head fish. All right, see you later, buddy. Whoa. Yeah, I got him. I don't know. No, he's not. He's not bad, though. Thank you, buddy. Look at that beautiful spotted bass on the watermelon purple shaky head. Gotta love it.
for a little fishy on hook. A fishy on. Heck yeah. God love you little Kentucky, even though he's got a little bit goofy in the face, but Yep. This one might be a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit bigger. Heck yeah. That's a big spot right there. That is a chunk of a spot. They're a beautiful spot. That's the reason you come to Table Rock. This little fish you wanted to eat the worm. I'm trying to see our secret worm. I got one too. <laughs> now they're really gonna want to see what our secret worm is. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at us. <laughs> oh, I think yours beat mine by a little bit. Thank you, foodie. There's one. Another spot on the worm. They're loving the worm right now. That is for sure. So what I'm doing right now is just going along this bluff line out here on the main lake, throwing this uh, watermelon purple worm on a shaky head. Right now this time of year with the water temperature being right at 57 degrees, they are using these bluff lines like highways, moving in towards the points, towards the spawning areas. So it's a good time of year to go out there and throw a little shaky head on them pick up quite a few fish. Ah, lost him. Dang it. Yep, two cranks. He nailed it too. He, he grabbed it and ran off with it. He's back. <laughs> Another spot. They are loving this worm. He made it rain. I think that worm is done for. Oh boy, I got a big one. Wait a second, he's actually biting. Biting now. Wait a second, what's going on? I thought it was a tiny one. He is kind of tiny. But he was fighting hard. Oh, there's one of them. There's two more over there, though. Another big old spot. It's a good day out here today. Still just doing the same thing with the same worm. 
just hopping it around. They're not biting it too hard. They're just kind of a little bit of heavy weight on the end and then it's on. This makes up for losing it at the boat. A big old monster. A big old monster fish. He's been eating good. Yeah, all on crankbaits too, isn't that crazy? Oh, he's pooping. Let him poop in there.